Hi class, this is Ms. Shedd speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to use an interactive whiteboard online. First, this program can be used anywhere and it's free. You can also invite others. This way you can help each other with homework, class assignments, or projects. You have a project over linear equations coming up and this will be a great tool to use, especially for those who don't have a calculator. First, you need to go to notebookcast.com. This is what the link is, notebookcast.com. Once you put that in and you get to the home page, it's going to ask you if you want to create an online whiteboard. You create a nickname for it and a board size. Once you're done, you click submit and you get back to this page that I have here. On here, you can invite others. You click the invite button and it sends you a whiteboard code or a URL address. You can send either one to the people that you want to come to your board. If somebody has already created a whiteboard, you're going to click join a whiteboard. You use the nickname that they have used and the board code that they have sent to you. Once you have both, you put them in and you click submit and it'll take you straight to their board. All right, so let me show you how to use this. Okay, so here you have color. So if you need to have your X's and Y's in different colors, um, you have small squares, big squares, lines for your different type of paper, or you can even have straight white paper. I like the small squares because it is graphing paper. You can change your line width. Tools, you have pencils, text, board capture, erasers, and clear boards. You also have shapes, circle, line, or square, and you have a little chat box. This you can use to talk to the others that are helping you with your homework or assignment or project. Once you click on it, a box in the bottom right hand corner pops up so that you can chat to the people who are on your board. Okay, so let's say I have given you a list of problems for homework and I tell you you must work with three other people to complete them. So first you're going to, somebody's going to create a board and invite the others on there. Once you have it, you're going to look at your problems and solve them. So let's say I've given you the points 2, 3, and 1, 2. So I'm going to go here, click on tools, text, click anywhere on the board, and a little text box pops up. So I'm going to put in the points 2, 3, and 1, 2. Once you're done, click OK. You click the green arrow, make sure everything's fine. Then now I'm going to go back to my pencil. So with these points, I'm asking you to find M, which is your slope, and write me an equation in point slope form. So first, I've got to go find my slope. So remember, slope is change of y's over change of x's. So I'm going to underline my y's and do those first. So I'm going to have 3 minus 2, I'm going to change colors again, go to brown, let's do, since my 3 was first, my 2 has to be first, so I'm going to do 2 minus 1, and now I solve, so 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, so my m equals 1. You could have also put this in a text and it would have popped up on your page. So now I have to put this into point slope form. Remember point slope is y, excuse my drawing, minus y1. That means you have to pick a point and pick this point right here that I just circled. So my y1 is 3 equals my slope, which was 1. We found slope here, right, times x minus x1 which is 2 and you are done sometimes I will ask you to graph so that's why I like doing things on the graphing paper because it's easy for you to just go to shapes and create lines for a graph okay so once you're done you will click on tools again board capture see how it's creating your board capture and then here it will show you that you have created a picture. That picture will either be emailed to me or printed out and turned into me for the next day. All right, class, that's all I have for you.